Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Burn Identity. Will you please welcome to the stage, Jason Burn! Oh my god, how fucking posh is this shit? <laughs> I even got new clothes. <laughs> I'm such a knacker, I never buy clothes ever. I'm just. A, and I know that a lot of you here didn't know the DVD was going on, and all the girls in the front row were all oh, me hair, me hair. <laughs> I knew I should have done something to make me face and looks like me arse. I'm gonna be on a. Bloody television now for fuck's sake. That's why like, all the lads couldn't give a shit. Just go, put me on a telly, brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, absolutely brilliant, fantastic. Couldn't give a shit of what I look like. <laughs> but the brilliant thing as well, because I call it the burn identity just purposely when it does go out at Christmas, then people who fucking didn't want me on DVD. <laughs> Well, take it to the movie. Let's sit down. Lovely. Relax now. See this show. <laughs> Margaret! <laughs> you know what movie you got me for Christmas? You just look like a double agent to me, you fucking gobshite. <laughs> I hate looking at that. That just fuck. Do you know? Do you know like when you're out of your head and you go home and look in the mirror? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, what have I done? <laughs> Margaret. <laughs> I'm a negative. <laughs> Oh, you shouldn't take drugs. Don't take drugs, though. <laughs> don't take drugs, because if you take drugs, and I, well, I don't know, and if you drink a lot as well, you'll get fucking panic attacks, right? And in Ireland, I think the Irish are the people who get it the most. We get what's called fucking Egypt attacks, which are called, right? <laughs> it's brilliant. Do you ever get them the next day? If you went in a session, a big session, no matter what it was, you're just talking to your mates, going, so how are you getting on? Yeah, not too bad. And just going, <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong there? Uh, nothing on no, my heart, just... Uh... <laughs> no, no, I'm all right. Anyway, uh, I was just... Um, yeah, it was just... Uh... <laughs> what are you doing? I think I'm having a heart attack. Because <laughs> the we were just, we Irish people are so like that. We don't want to be fit. So we just sort of go, no, no, you be have our, if we ever had a heart attack, we just try to block it out. Isn't it brilliant? <laughs> You won't bring the ambulance. Oh, be all right, be all right, be all right. <laughs> be all right, be all right, be all right, be all right. <laughs> People sitting on you, blown into you. <laughs> oh, be all right. It's a pass, it's a pass. <laughs> People die in my cancer in the bed. It'll pass, it'll pass, it'll be good. But, but, you know, I look, I know, look at how terrified everybody's in the front. Don't worry, it's all right. Look at this lovely couple here. There's only no one <laughs> Look at it. The two of you who's right there going, what the hell have you come up your front for? <laughs> but where, where are you from, nice man? Where are you from? Dublin. You're from where? Dublin. Dublin? Yeah. Have you got a country accent, no? Oh. No, look at it all. No, no. <laughs> to address the situation right now there, Jason. <laughs> this is not a double action to approach you from my very mouth. <laughs> so, so, wait, which part of Dublin are you from, nice guy? Still Oregon. Still Oregon? Or the bowling alley? Is that still there? <laughs> it used to be. Is it not there anymore? Sort of. Sort of. What? <laughs> it was a bowling alley sort of there. I 
when you just get your ball and just start up, just like, when he gets halfway down and just drops off the end of the lane. <laughs> Go back up to complain. Uh, there, was, there was no skittles. <laughs> oh, yeah, we should have explained. Uh, <laughs> we start to not hear. <laughs> The bowling alley's not actually in the building, it's starting out here, it's just down in it. In a good It's brilliant because I, I, you know, thank God this DVD is for Irish release only. <laughs> what the English watching this? <laughs> sort of? I, I really, I really, what, what is, what is sort of? <laughs> Because I, I was in Edinburgh and I was watching the Olympics. How uh, many people here watch the Olympics, by the way? <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> when, the, when the Irish aren't going to win something at all. Yeah, okay, we're a bit of a look. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not going to watch it unless we're gesturing for a minute of gold medals, you know. And it, it, it was, you know, I mean, and, and you know, the, I was watching in Edinburgh and I seen like the Team GB. I don't know if you're watching it here. Just go, oh, Team GB. I just, <laughs> <laughs> we won more goals again. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Team GB. Oh. You know, I think they were winning medals that right and center, you know. And then all we won, what we win, we won, you know what I mean? We won three medals. We won two bronze and one silver in the boxing. In fucking fighting. That's how we won it. In. I mean, the only way we'd win it. Fucking, come on, John, John, come on. <laughs> Get out of the ring, Pascal. <laughs> you need headgear. Fucking headgear. <laughs> I can knock a horse out of me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need that gear. <laughs> oh, sorry. I've never said that in my life before. And that image just shot into my head of somebody punching a horse out. <laughs> How insane would you have to be to punch a horse out? <laughs> <laughs> The horse is going down, going, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's mate, it's mate's coming along. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I'm trying to be a horse. <laughs> Horses don't do that. <laughs> but I, yeah, you know, we got two bronze and and, and, the, and well done because we were kind of proud of that. We just, you know, we latch onto anything. We just go, we're not do. But team and team GB, you know, especially um, you know, the English. Is there any English people here, by the way? Any, sorry for a bit upsetting. Oh, you were at that moment. Well done. <laughs> you are English because you just went. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that in Ireland. That's a telltale sign. Are you English? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she mustn't be. We'll move away then. <laughs> So I think it's worked, I think it's worked. <laughs> They've moved away. <laughs> hide the horses, hide the horses. <laughs> we'll be back, we'll be back. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> it doesn't matter if you're English, it's nice. English is great. Are you, are you both English, by the way, yeah? No, oh, you're not. <laughs> you are. He isn't. You're, you're Irish. Can you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> She's just looking at me, all she can hear is like, oh, diddly 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 
understand me and you're married to a Scottish bloke. <laughs> So I love fucking Scottish people as well. Now this is, when I was in Edinburgh in Scotland, right, I've got to tell you this, right, this is how miserable Scottish people are. Well done, right? Because, you know, I mean, you've been in Ireland, you've seen how miserable Irish people are, because we love fucking misery, right? We love misery, right? We love it. We love trying to look into ambulances when they pass by. That's what we do. <laughs> That's our thing. We just like go, me, ma, ne, na. Can you see it? Can you see it? <laughs> the only thing that distracts Irish people from ambulance noises is aeroplanes. <laughs> Where do we think they are? <laughs> <laughs> you know, because we love misery, you know, we love misery. Like this old Irish woman in the morning walking out with their walking sticks when they hear ambulances, they come in their pants, they love it. <laughs> Oh, Nina, Nina. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was wondering, you know, an Irish person, do this indoors. That's all you have to do. Walk indoors with a pair of shades. Irish people go ballistic. <laughs> they go ballistic quietly because we're two faced fuckers, right? <laughs> Right? We're in the corner going, well, who's the bastard? <laughs> <laughs> With the fucking sunglasses indoors! <laughs> he better be Stevie Wonder or he can fucking get out of here. I was watching the Olympics, right? We're talking about Team GB, right? With the Olympics, okay? And they won, right? This is the thing, right? They, the English, they won loads and loads of medals in the sailing, right? Because that's just dead posh shit, right? So they fucking love that, all that leaning stuff. Everywhere. Come back at it. You know, and the boots. I'm going, I'm really, really talk. We're going to do some leaning and win some girly medals. Oh. <laughs> leaning, leaning, leaning. <laughs> could have went in for that because we would have had to stop and fish we would have had to do it right we would have thought that's a fucking waste of a day that is <laughs> oh you get cast off there fuck the gold medal right <laughs> and english people behind us <laughs> things the Olympics which I loved right was Usain Bolt right or Usain Bolt and the poor fucker hasn't had his name pronounced right ever right unless you're from fucking Jamaica especially Irish people trying to know Usain Bolt bleeding down you right but <laughs> it's probably Usain Bolt right I said Jamaicans in here no <laughs> no right Grant <laughs> no just too wrecked to answer <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but he was brilliant, right? You say Bolt wins a gold in 100 meters, a gold in 200 meters, and a gold in the relay, right? Unbelievable, right? He was taking the piss in that Olympics, right? If anybody's seen it, in the 200 meters, there's an American guy leading, right? And he's just running his fucking arse off. He's going, <laughs> Next minute, Usain Bolt just comes running up beside him. <laughs> How you doing? You having a nice day? <laughs> it's a nice stadium, isn't it? Yeah. Look at all the people. It's very hot. Are you running as fast as you can? I think you are, yeah. <laughs> I'm from Jamaica. Do you know Jamaica? Do you? <laughs> It's a lovely place to make it. Listen, I forgot something at the start. I need to go back and get it. I'll be back in a second. <laughs> anyway, sorry about that. I just... <laughs> gotta go ahead now and win this fucking mess. <laughs> it was just fascinating. <laughs> And then, and, you know, and, and I watch it because my kid watched it with me as well. And I don't know. Did, did you watch the Olympics, that man there? No. Fuck that. Don't care. <laughs> <laughs> did you do any sports? 
câu Câu cho Câu cho Have a girlfriend. That girl there. Do you, you do sports? No. no. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> this is fucking weird. Did you do any sports when you were a kid? Rugby. Rugby? At school? As a kid? Yeah. I would have guessed that. <laughs> the kid in the school connection there. <laughs> <laughs> were you a, were you a line, linebacker, hook, I don't know, <laughs> forward roll, something, what do you do? What was your position? Prop. A prop? So you, what, you, you, you didn't play? What? <laughs> I know nothing about rugby. <laughs> You were a prop, so they used to just put you on. <laughs> just to scare the other team. Just fucking with other scarecrows. It's just, <laughs> just the shittest game ever. <laughs> Why do I have to be a prop all the time? She's fucking ridiculous. But no, but my, but my kid, I don't know what I actually talk about sports, right? Because my kid, right, he was eight, I was been to a school, right? And it's unbelievable. Do you know what, in this day, because my mum and dad go, times are changing, you know? And they are, you know, they really are this time, right? You know what I mean? They really are. And like, I went down to my kid's school, and it's unbelievable what I could see, right? At lunchtime, right, at playtime, they're not allowed to run in the fucking playground, right? That's how shit their life is now in school, right? This is a game of chasing in my son's school, right? Just walking up to each other, right? Just going, you're caught. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, you're caught now. Oh, okay, I'm caught. You're caught, right? I remember when I was a kid, oh my God, in school, when I was a kid, I'd go to my best friend and go, right, I'll race you into that wall as fast as you can, right? <laughs> It was like blokes just running into the wall, half their face missing, going back into class. <laughs> that was a great day. What did get? The teachers just dab you with tissue. Now, now, mind yourself. Get back to class, right? Because you're, you're probably quite young, are you? What are you, about 23, are you? I'm 26. You're 26? Oh, my God. I, I got it so wrong. <laughs> Three years out, you fucking finickety little shit. <laughs> oh, 26, nearly dead. <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't know, I mean, have you got an, an, an iPod? Have you got an iTouch and like that? Do you touch iPods? Do you, do you, <laughs> do you touch up iPods? <laughs> <laughs> The women must be delighted, though, with iPods, now that men are actually practicing with their fingers. <laughs> <laughs> They're finally getting a bit of fucking exercise. <laughs> As opposed to when we were young, we just pressed play. <laughs> and play. <laughs> you won't go on. <laughs> no, you need both your fingers, play and record. <laughs> play and record, play and record. <laughs> Which is confusing as now, because then we can just now the, then the men can go like this, you see. <laughs> With the eye touch, then we're fucking wrong like this. <laughs> That's the only way you're gonna get us going like that, girls. Just put an eye touch down there, just take it out. <laughs> okay, pretend you're picking your favourite song. Pick your favourite song.
But no, I'll tell you, I do. Because <laughs> my kids, right? And I, I've got to tell you about my kids, right? And, and uh, I know you're 23, but I have got kids. And he's, my, my, I, I, like, I have two, I have a one-year-old now, and I have an eight-year-old, okay? And my, oh, my God, right, my, my one-year-old, okay? Like, he's 18 months, but I don't fucking say that, because I hate parents that do that shit, right? God, how old is your child? Oh, he's 36 months old! What the fuck is this, a maths test? How old is your child? <laughs> See two, three, or four. Uh, Forty-seven months and a half. Uh. <laughs> you know this is gonna be a fucking quiz. How old is he, for fuck's sake, right? It's just insane. And whoever came up with the phrase "I slept like a baby" has never had a fucking baby in their house in their life. <laughs> Sick of that phrase. I slept like a baby. Oh, did you? Did you? Yeah, yeah. And have you been asleep for four years? Is that have you been asleep for four years? Have you? And was there shit up your back when you were sleeping? Is that how you slept like a baby? Yeah. And did you piss in your dad's face at three in the morning? Because that's how fucking baby sleep. Do you hear me? <laughs> sleeping like a baby, me hole. <laughs> Oh, sorry, the English, uh, my uh, bottom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was really nice of yeah. oh, you. Yeah, thank you, continue. <laughs> <laughs> Just want to make sure they're doing this right. <laughs> But yeah, you know, and, and my eight, my eight year old, right? I love him so much. He's brilliant, right? And he's, you know, he's a little bit, he's a little bit off kilter, right? Because he's been living with me for eight years, all right? And he's full of stories because I tell him stories all the time, right? I just tell him shit, right? When the wife's not there, of course, right? <laughs> just tell him this and that, and he walks around going, "Is that real? No, yeah, no." Santa, all that shit, Easter Bunny, like for, for example, like at Christmas, right, at Christmas, okay, I'll go into his, into his bedroom on, on, on Christmas Eve, right, Christmas Eve, and I'll put like fucking bits of rain, or not fucking bits, don't put bits of rain there, no, fucking actual proof of rain there, proof of rain there in the room, don't be putting bits of rain there in your son's fucking room, that's just fucking wrong, okay, <laughs> chopping up a rain there and putting bits of it all over his room. <laughs> Then getting a dead reindeer's head and putting it on the dresser. <laughs> then smashing a window with a white beard with blood dripping out of it. <laughs> then go, nah, there won't be any Christmas. There's been a huge accident. <laughs> Santi crashed into your room. <laughs> But no, he does, and he believes. Oh, he believes in the in the. He believes in the Easter Bunny as well. Because I stole this thing, right? I, I do this pantomime. I stole a big rabbit's head, right, from from, from the Olympia, and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I love the way Irish people do that. <laughs> just don't say the word, but we have to. Just got. <laughs> oh, I stole it from there. <laughs> So I got the big rabbit's head, right? And what I did on, on, on Easter Sunday Eve, right? Okay. I mean, you, you have Easter, don't you, the English? Do you have Easter? You know it? Right, good. Okay. <laughs> Do you really? Do you have Easter? <laughs> oh, okay, sorry. Anyway, yeah. Do you know what they don't have? Confession, you lucky fuckers. <laughs> The amount of people in this room, especially the fellas that had to sit in the room in a confession box on your own in the dark with a wall and a slipness, with a priest asking you, what bad things have you been doing? <laughs> what else have you been doing at 12? What else but fiddling? Fiddling, fiddling, fiddling. That's all you can tell the priest. I've been fiddling, Father, fiddling. <laughs> all you can hear near the side of the wall is, good man yourself. <laughs> That's a good boy. <laughs> you this time tell the story in a French accent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, the Catholics. <laughs> you got all the uber blessing going on. <laughs> 
So I hid right there, Easter, Easter Saturday. I hid under my son's bed with the fucking rabbit's head on me, right? And I waited till my son got into bed, right? And he got into bed, and then when he turned outwards towards me, I just raised the rabbit's head up into his eye line. <laughs> And I just thought this would be beautiful. I'm just... <laughs> I go, he'll believe in the bunny now. He'll never forget it for the rest of his life. And he's just staring at me, my son, without even fucking move. And he's just going... <laughs> and I've got this huge rat with huge ears now. The massive eyes and all. I'm just looking at him. And I just say, inside, without the mouth moving, because now that really fucked him up, right? I just say, there's chocolate for you in the morning. <laughs> and I just went back down underneath the bed. <laughs> he just ran out of the room. <laughs> rabbit's head. I, I just fucked it out the window. I had to go to my wife. Yeah, what, what, what's he seen? <laughs> I seen a rabbit down here. Oh, that's terrible. Come on in. Settle down. Settle down. Maybe you'll be fine, right? <laughs> and one of the last things I did to him, which was brilliant fun, right? He, he lost his tooth, right? And I said, put your tooth under the pillow, right? And the tooth fuhrer, or the tooth fucking fairy, not the tooth fuhrer. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> the tooth fairy, not the tooth fuhrer. That's a whole different thing altogether. <laughs> the tooth fuhrer coming in to take your son's teeth. <laughs> yeah, that would terrify your child if fucking Hitler took the teeth. Anyway. Fairy, tooth fairy. This is put it under my stomach. No way, Dad. I don't believe you. I'm not falling for this one. Forget it. No way, Christ. Anyway, come on. You'll be fine. You'll be fine, right? So, so I, I persuaded him, right? But then my wife heard me and she came running in and she grabbed me by the arm and dragged me off the side and went, What the fuck have you told him? <laughs> Just tell him a story. Don't be telling him any more stories. Do you understand? He is fucked up enough as it is. He wears a special helmet in school and he doesn't even fucking need one, all right? Now get into fucking bed, right? And I had to get into bed, right? Because you're 26, because you don't know what that's like, because your life is happy, isn't it? <laughs> so my son, right? He's asleep, okay? So I go into his room, I sneak into his room, okay? And what I do is I take the money, take the suit, put the money underneath, right? Then I sneak back out, right? And then I go, oh, no way, I want him to believe in the fairies. So I get a pair of his action man boots, right? Put them on the end of my fingers and dip them into ink, okay? And then you've got to do this if you have kids. It's so beautiful, right? I walk little footprints up his blankets. <laughs> And I put loads of footprints all over his pillow, and I put loads all over his face, right? <laughs> and then I hung a little pickaxe from his Lego man out of his bed like that. <laughs> and the next morning, he just came running into the room. <laughs> but the brilliant thing is, is that your wife cannot turn around to you and go, what? Fuck did you do that for? <laughs> she has to play along. <laughs> Cause if she doesn't, she'll shatter your son's dreams. All my wife could do was just turn to me and go, Oh look, Jason! Look! <laughs> the f fairies! Do right because because we are we are, we are. I need the Scottish bloke now. We're gonna get the Scottish bloke up to do something for me, right? Come on, up. come on, give a round of applause, Scottish man, Scottish man. 
this is this is the last time, right, man? I gotta be able to do this, right? <laughs> right here, stand, stand, here. This is what we're gonna do, right? I'm gonna float you, okay? Face that way, okay? Oh no, I know, I know. Too. Wait, what do you? I mean, if I am stand, I'm on that way. All right. <laughs> Tommy, what the fuck are you talking about, fucking for fuck's sake? Okay, Tommy, just hold this, right? Hold that. Now, don't fucking ruin this, because this is on the DVD. Don't fucking ruin it now. <laughs> don't ruin take, take the magic. No, take the fucking... No. Don't fuck it up, Tom. <laughs> right, take the magic sticks. No, one in both hands, you fucking eaters. One in both hands. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, Tom. Now stick your feet out the end. Stick your feet out. Not those feet, Tommy. Not those feet. <laughs> the magic feet. Stick the magic feet out. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing, Tommy? Stick the magic. <laughs> Will you stand sideways? And stick the fucking magic feet out. Will you hide your other feet? <laughs> stick. Will you put them in? <laughs> put the fucking magic feet out in front of your tummy. Right? <laughs> okay. <t> <laughs> You're going to put your head back and start floating, right? Okay? Okay? So, you ready? Now, I mean, like, don't float. I mean, like, you know, lift the fucking legs up, right? <laughs> <laughs> How cool is this? <laughs> okay, ready? Okay, start to lift the legs up. Start to lift them up. Start to lift them up. Start to lift them up. Not that quick. Come back. Back. Not that fucking quick, you gobshite. <laughs> Put your head back. Look at the ceiling when you're doing it, right? Now lift them up. Lift them up. Lift them fucking up, right? Keep going. Keep going. That's it. Keep, keep, lift them. Keep going back. Keep the... Wait, wait, wait. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. I need people to hide the fucking legs here. We need you again, skinny malinga. <laughs> get the fuck up. Just get up. Just, just, just sit in front of his fucking real legs, will you? Here, I need you as well. I know you don't, you don't do sport, but just fucking hide his legs, all right? <laughs> Holy fuck, you're agile, though. <laughs> <laughs> just sit there. Just sit there at the back of his legs there. Yeah? Okay, actually, now, when he comes back, I want you to hold him, right? Don't let him fucking fall, okay? <laughs> what do you do? What is this, a fucking picnic? Can you be a bit more extravagant? <laughs> it's a fucking magic trick. What are you doing sitting there with your balls out in the audience? <laughs> Okay, Tommy, here we go, right? Now just lean back, right? Heel can. What, what was your name at the back again? Darren. <laughs> <laughs> Look at how fucking lazy Darren is. I just hold my one hand. <laughs> okay, lean back, lean back at Darren, right? Go back, go back, come on, lean it up. Hold the fuck. Would you lift the legs up, you lazy fuck, Tom? Get them right out, get them right out, get them fucking right out, right? That's it, hold them, hold them. Hold it! Hold it there! Don't fucking move! Don't move! The finishing piece! Finishing piece! Just to show he's actually fucking floating! Just get through that bit! <laughs> Tommy, lift your, Tommy, lift your legs! Tommy. Keep the legs up, Tommy! Keep the fucking legs up!
the game now, the stage. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, sorry. But I have, you know, I've moved, I just noticed there's a girl with shades on in the audience. Are you okay? It's just the fact you have shades on. Oh, no, you're all right. Okay, fine. <laughs> Not that being blind is bad. Sorry about that. Are you all right? You're blind. Look at that. Oh, my God. So, so well done, shades lady. Is it just because the lights are too bright? Have you got some sort of... Yeah, two black eyes. Two black eyes. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I love gigging here, because you don't necessarily have to do the gig on your own. <laughs> two black eyes. <laughs> Husband knocking the bejays down. Like... <laughs> Sorry, England. That was really just... Oh, God. oh man, what the hell is happening now? <laughs> we should have stayed there. They're beating their women. <laughs> <laughs> but I did. I, I, I moved, right? And I, I moved. Oh, I know I used to live in Ballant here. Then I used to live in Stores. And then I fucking moved. And like, look, I'm giving me a background because, like, so like where you are from. Because like, my, my background, right, is like I lived in like suburban fucking Dublin, South Dublin, all the time, right? All the houses were exactly the same, just the way Jesus would have liked them, right? <laughs> No different, right? Just the same front door, same front door, same front door, same front door. Longer, longer, longer. Bit of a feature, bit of a feature. In the middle of a feature. Great for the feature, right? Except when you get older and like, people like my mum take out the feature and put in a bit of cobblestone for the driver. <laughs> I don't know what kind of rolls rice my mum's expecting to pull into the driveway. <laughs> Just got a bit of cobblestone covered over half the grass. Brilliant. <laughs> Great for the car to round itself into the driveway. <laughs> but it's like, and, that, and that's where I lived, you know what I mean? And then I moved into the suburban place, and I've always lived in suburban, you know what I mean? And the natural yellow light at night used to spin into my bedroom. That's how I used to sleep, right? And the noise of cars and people. It was always noise. And I would just sleep and i go, ah, oh, lovely. There we go. And I'd sleep solid, right? But then one day my wife said, why don't we move to the countryside? It'll be idyllic and the children can run free, right? <laughs> I, and, and we did, we did. We're there eight months now, right? I live fucking, I live in the countryside now. It's only fucking North Dublin. I know there's proper country people here going, what the fucking hell? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, Sorry, I know that's not how country people talk. <laughs> how could you ever do any business in the country? <laughs> But, the, but yeah, and it was just mad. And we've been living there for eight months, and now it is just shit, right? Okay? Now, I'll tell you why living in the countryside is shit. If you're not from the countryside, you do not belong in the countryside, right? I don't mean the people are not going to accept you. I mean the shit at night in bushes and hiding and the fucking shit lepping out at you. Fucking everywhere you go, there's fucking shit, man. There's like seven rats sewn together, all just fucking rolling down a hill. Fucking mad, there's red eyes everywhere. You're just shit yourself all night, right? They don't sleep, right? The first night myself and the wife arrived up to the house in the car, right? The first night the kids were in the granny. What? Arrived up to the car. There was a light, right? Lovely from the car. There's the house. Switched the car off and the fucking house disappeared, right? <laughs> Here they're going, where's the house gone? I just switched off the lights, where's the house gone? And I switched the lights back on and the house reappeared. I thought David Copperfield was at the end of my car, just going, there's a house. There's no house. There's a house. What do you believe? What do you believe? <laughs> so we went into bed, right? 
I'll never forget. We're in the bed, and we lay down in the bed, and there was no curtains on the windows. And I don't know if that's a real Dublin thing. I don't know. Is that what we're like? You know, just there going, block the curtain. No one, no one knows it's out there. No, no, no. Everything here is safe when there's curtains up, right? <laughs> So, but, so we had no curtains and it was, it was the window out into the garden, right? So uh, we were just shitting ourselves. And there was, no, there was no noise in the countryside. There was nothing. No noise, right? And this is how dark it is. It is that dark. That's how it is. <laughs> there is no natural yellow light in the countryside anywhere, right? So I'm lying down the bed with the missus, no noise, pitch black, no curtains on the windows, just lying there. And every few seconds, you can't help yourself, but just go, what the fuck was that? <laughs> Nothing. Okay, back down again. What the fuck was that, right? <laughs> the first thing we heard, right, this is absolutely no mess, and this is when I went, okay, I kind of love the countryside, it's a bit mental, but that's it. We heard scraping going down plastic, right? Scraping going down plastic. And I was going, what the fuck is that, right? And I fucking, I just peeped out the window. And just underneath the window was my son's slide. And I am not messing. There was a hedgehog walking up the slide. <laughs> this is true, right? Just a little fella just going. <laughs> and then going. looked out at me, he was just looking at me because they are not afraid of you. <laughs> Animals in the town will look at you and leg it. Animals in the countryside, the hedgehog nearly went. <laughs> <laughs> I can't fucking get up this line. <laughs> <laughs> Try me best here, you know. <laughs> I'm going to give up if it doesn't stop. <laughs> we laid back down again and then this this noise started to happen this was starting to shit myself right because then further into the garden all i heard was this noise Hello! <laughs> and i just jumped up going what the fuck is this now right that does not sound like a hedgehog sliding down anything right <laughs> and it was really scary it was just like Hello! And I just go, what is it, please? My wife was going, look, oh, quick, ring the neighbor. I rang the neighbor, our neighbor who lives two miles away, right? <laughs> neighbor, my arse, okay? <laughs> and I rang him up, I'll never forget, I went, there's a woman screaming in my car. Please help me, right? <laughs> and he went, hold the phone up, let me hear the noise, right? And he heard, and he went, that's a fox in heat, you gobshite. <laughs> Go back asleep and stop fucking ringing me, okay? <laughs> but I, my imagination is wild. I started to shit myself, right? I was lying down and I just started to think, I said to my wife, I bet you that is not a fox in heat out there, right? I bet you that's one of the locals outside, naked, naked, with a dead fox's head on their head, <laughs> rubbing themselves, looking at us in the bedroom, going, Hello! <laughs> and I'll open the window going, What is this? What is that? <laughs> and all I'll hear is, It's only a fox in heat, go back and sleep. <laughs> But the next thing, the next thing that happened, I thought I was going to need heart surgery. I've never been so scared in my life, right? We were lying down in bed. That screaming stopped. Okay, we're lying down in bed. And next minute, all I heard was running across the window. Big, heavy footsteps. I just went, <gasps> I jumped up, dying. Just going, what the fuck is that? Right? <laughs> Real brave man that I am, right? <laughs> And then my wife, she just jumped up and she put on the lamp, right? And there was two people looking at us from the fucking garden, right? We were going, ah! Ah! My wife was, ah! Ah! And after two seconds, she just went, ah! It's us! It's us! <laughs> Two float 
putting white heads in the window, just going. <laughs> so we're still there, of course. We can't sell our house, of course, because nobody can sell anything now in Ireland. <laughs> Who do you want that? No, fuck off, okay. <laughs> Jennifer Norton? No, fuck off, okay. <laughs> Pretty difficult when the country's been run by the elephant man. There's him and Brian Count. Everybody's been so kind. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't slag him. He gives me an artist exemption. <sighs> he was like, Dink, that's the end of your attack, shithead. <laughs> no, but I, I you know, I'm, because, you know, because we live in the house, I don't know what kind of a sentence that is. Who starts a sentence with that? Because we live in the house. Yes. <laughs> oh, I don't know, dear <laughs> We do, we, know, we, li we, li we live in a house. Do you, do you live in a house, that guy there? You live in a house? Well done. Oh, oh where, where are you from, nice guy? You're from Swords. Ah, volunteer, Swords. Lived, lived. <laughs> <laughs> so you live in Swords. Well are you from Swords? Yeah. Where are you? What, what's your name? Thomas. Thomas. What do you do? Uh, sales. Sales. Yeah. <laughs> I like the way the rest of your table completely went into the convulsions there. <laughs> Sales, could you be any more fucking vague on that one? <laughs> I'll see you chatting up a fucking girl in a nightclub. So what do you do? Uh, sales. <laughs> what is that? I don't actually know. <laughs> <laughs> I sell shit. <laughs> well, what do you sell? What do you sell? Sunglasses. <laughs> stand there while well, people put the ball and you go, oh yeah, you look great, you look great. <laughs> but they actually look fucking retarded. <laughs> Some mad fuckers from Longford. <laughs> oh, I think, yeah, I think that goes, yeah, I think that one. <laughs> Go on the holiday! Go on the holiday! <laughs> that's better, that's better. Uh, I'd like to spit on you. <laughs> I didn't realise I had that kind of that kind of spit level. She just went, yeah, you actually did, yes. <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> But I tell you, you know, because I am married, you know, I don't know, I mean, many people here be married. Uh, are many people here married? Yeah. Just women? <laughs> <laughs> Why does that happen every fucking time? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Say yes. <laughs> You're married to me. Or, and women, you've got to stop saying this, or I'll never speak to you again. <laughs> now that is not off-putting. <laughs> I'll never speak to you again. You mean ever? Now you fucking promise you'll never speak to me again. <laughs> like fucking ever again. It's... <laughs> <laughs> You fuck off or her and never come back here again. <laughs> All right then. <laughs> 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 
But, you know, and it's hard because I feel, really, I feel, you know, it's hard for ladies. You know, it's really hard because those men, we're, we're terrible. You know what I mean? You know, and especially Irish men with our fucking lead heads. You know what I mean? Just fucking walking around all the time, just fucking, you know, head up the arse. We don't want to know anybody. And they actually, I was, I was listening to a radio show and they actually said that when men come home or they come into the house whenever they've been out all day, they don't want to have a conversation, right? They don't want to talk about shit. And I know that angers women okay but it's actually in our makeup it's actually in our fucking in, in the whole makeup of men right we just start going we don't want to talk right we all we want to do is say nothing right we can actually say and think nothing i know you're there going you couldn't possibly think nothing we can actually fucking do that there is no problem men can sit in front of a wall yeah. and just think about nothing but the wall right right i'll just tell you this I know this is the void in the room, and I know it's difficult, and that's why relationships are so hard to push through, right? Because men will just sit there, right? Fucking, we're fine, okay? When women have to go around all day like worker bees, collecting conversations on their legs everywhere they fucking go. Just there, go. is that right, Mary? Oh, you're joking. I'll stick that there, okay? Buzz, 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 buzz. Oh, Jesus, Teresa, he's a bastard. He really is a bastard. <laughs> fucking carrying information all over the place. Nowhere to unload it until they get home. There's Mr. Eustace fucking the chair. <laughs> and that's all they have. The only way, the only person they have to unload of is just the bloke just sitting there going, there's a wall there, there's a wall. <laughs> that's a white wall there, there's a wall. Been here for two hours looking at the wall, there's a wall. What's that, love? There's the wall. <laughs> I just forget him and take it to me fucking grave. <laughs> that must be why Irish women hunch more than anybody else in the world as they get older with fucking information with nobody to unload it off. Just fall into a tiny grave of a hole going, I'll take it to Jesus instead. <laughs> Maybe Jesus will listen to me, you bastard. Men! We should know, ladies, when you get to heaven, <laughs> there'll be Jesus sitting in a chair going, there's a ball there. <laughs> What's that, Lufa? <laughs> ah, not even Jesus will listen to me. But it's, <laughs> and, and you know, and, 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 and you know, and let's say being married, it's, it's fine, you know. I, I like it, you know, and it, but it has its advantages and its disadvantages. Because, like, whenever whenever my wife goes out, like, and you know, she goes out whenever she wants, you know what I mean? There's, there's no issue. She'll just ring me up and go, uh, I'm in town with the girls, and uh, don't know, there you go, ching, right? <laughs> You know what I mean? And all you can hear in the background is, Aah! Aah! <laughs> Come on, Brenda, get back here! Aah! There's four shots on the table for you! Because <laughs> I love that with women, because you need that, because it, look, it must feel when you're all together that you're escaping forever. This is it. It's a huge Telma and Louise car, but it's a big bar with all these in it. Come on, let's drive off the fucking cliff. <laughs> Fuck the kids. Fuck the husband. Fuck everything. Come on. We'll take the money with us. Fuck them all. <laughs> When blokes ring home from the pub, it's so fucking funny. Shh, 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 shh. <laughs> lads, seriously, seriously, lads, that's it, seriously, seriously. <laughs> We're not having a good time. We're not having a good time. We're all having a shit time. Shit time. Don't be cheering. Johnny, put away that dildo, will you? <laughs> 
angel. Uh. <coughs> they always clear, men always clear their throat. Watch it, women. <coughs> uh, hello? Yeah, just uh, busy in work for a... Uh... Get that fucking away from your face, will you? Uh, fucking idiot. I'm on the phone to the wife. What are you doing? Sticking a fucking dildo on me here, Tony. And if you can imagine, it's just all the blokes just crunched down, sneaking in each other. Because it's insane. Like, if I say to my wife, I want to go out, you know, if I say I want to go out, I have to sit down with her for two months beforehand with fucking maps of the area to where I'm going to be going. It's unbelievable, you know? It's just insane shit. It's just like, like God. Right. Where are you going to be at a quarter past eight? You're going to be there. Good. All right. Where will you be at half eight? You'll be over there. Good. Okay. Oh, and my dad is going with you because he's great crack. All right. <laughs> and you can keep an eye on your booby eyes, yeah? Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Booby eyes, booby, booby, droppy eyes, booby eyes, right? How many, actually, how many men here have ever experienced this? Walk along the path with your girlfriend or your wife. Just walk along. And out of nowhere, she'll say, forget it, she's too young. <laughs> you go, Who's too young? What the fuck are you talking about? I seen you looking in the wing mirror of that car, bouncing off the wing mirror of that car, hitting the reflection of that shop window off the girl of the top of that bus. Booby eye, fuck face. All right. <laughs> so you're just lost. <laughs> but it's 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 amazing though because you see what happens is I you know I love it when my wife goes out with the girls and most men do. You want to watch this girls right? Because when they go out, when they come back, we're gonna get sex. Oh yeah. <laughs> Right? But we're, we're so good at playing the game. We're just there going, yeah, yeah, go on, have a great time. Bye. But what we're really saying to you girls is, get fucking wrecked off your face. Get fucking hammered. Get bananas. Take shots. Go nuts. Drink in every bar. Stick coke up your hole. I don't care what you do. Come back here in fucking bits. Right? <laughs> And you'll know how much sex you're going to get. When your wife or your girlfriend arrives in at two in the morning, you'll know how much sex you're going to get by how long it takes her to open the door. <laughs> you're having a little sneaky, pervy listen to the door, right? If the door opens and she goes straight in, then you're fucked, right? You're going to have to sit up and have a conversation. <laughs> Unbelievable, right? As she takes off her fucking stilettos and puts on her slippers with the fur around them. <laughs> Your fucking slut night is shattering in front of you. <laughs> she gets the baby wipes and takes off the slut face. <laughs> You're gone, leave it on, leave it on. <laughs> I stayed up till three in the morning. Noise, right? The key going into the door and then dropping on the ground, followed by this noise. And you're gonna have at least 
four hours of almost illegal sex, right? <laughs> the maddest shit you've ever done in your life, right? And the great thing is, the next morning she can't remember a fucking bit of it. <laughs> and she walks into the kitchen in her dressing gown. <gasps> Oof! in your pajamas and put you to bed. <laughs> but the <laughs> I know that sounds awful to any young people here who probably think that doesn't happen. It, it is so true. <laughs> it's almost legal rape, it's wrong. <laughs> Look at all the women putting their drinks down. Right, well. Won't be any of that for you then, sunshine, all right? <laughs> but I did, but, <laughs> you know, and as I say, live, living in the house, you know, and, uh, you know, and it's, it's, because cause, cause I have to do shit in the house all the time, you know, and I'm trying, because we've got painters in, the painters, that's how shit I am, right? I can't even fucking paint, right? My, I can start to paint, my missus will go, she'll start dialing the phone behind me. Put the brush down. <laughs> Hello, painters, paint the house. Thank you, yes. Husband, a fuck arse. Yes, that's right. Hang on, put the fucking brush down. Fuck you, right? So I can't do any DIY or break everything, you know? I, I really do. It's a disaster, right? Put a bulb in and it just fucking blows up. Fucking, my children cry when I go near electrics. It's fucking a nightmare, right? And, and so, so my wife said this to me when I said, look, just put a television bracket up in your son's room, okay? That's all you have to fucking do. And I had to do it. Because if you don't fucking do it in this day and age, she calls Mr. Father-in-law, all right? And fucking super father-in-law arrives at the house with fucking drills on his hips, right? <laughs> and measuring tapes all hanging out of him, just fucking walking through my house going, you married a fucking gobshite. <laughs> Just go, yeah. You want a shelf up? No problem. Zip, zip, zip. There you go. <laughs> he can use a measuring tape on his fucking own. He doesn't need three lads across the floor all taking a bit of it, right? Going, right, I've got it. Now, Tony, you take it the rest of the way there, yeah? <laughs> Paul, go around the back there and pull it out there, yeah? Okay, yeah. Have you got it? <laughs> Ah, lads, for fuck's sake. <laughs> He's able to walk into the room and just go... <laughs> yep, that's nine foot six. <laughs> Not fair, right? So... So I said, yeah, I'll put up the television bracket, I'll do it myself. Yeah, right? So I started to drill into the wall, right? I'll never forget to drill into the wall, right? And the end of the drill started to go on fire. A little bit smoky, oh dear, right? But I didn't stop, because I just thought that's what happens. It must melt the concrete. I'll just keep going, right? <laughs> Drilling away like that, right? <laughs> and then my wife walked in, just took the drill off me, took out that bit, put a masonry bit in, gave the drill back to me and walked back out of the room, right? <laughs> And that works, you should try that, yeah? Drill that in, right? So then I screwed in the brackets and I put in screws that were like that big instead of that big, because I didn't fucking know, right? I just thought, yeah, whatever, you know, just fucking just screw it in. Once it's up, it's up, right? Then I got the television, one of the old ones with the back of it, and I put it up on top of the bracket like that, right? Then I bent down to plug it in, right? <laughs> And then I thought somebody fucked a car on my head. Because... 
One second, I plug it in, right? And I'm seeing a plug. The next second, I don't see the plug anymore. All I can see is carpet for days that way. <laughs> and the television that was up there is now fucking over there. Right? And because I'm a drama man, I think my brains are all over the fucking floor. So I won't touch them and I stay still, right? If that was a lady, you would just touch your head and go, Jesus, that was close. I'll go downstairs, have a cup of tea and calm down, right? <laughs> Not drama, men. I'm lying there screaming for my wife. Brenda! All I can hear is my wife running through the house. Oh my God, my beautiful husband. I hope he's okay. He's my rock. He's my everything. Please don't let him be hurt. I love him so much. <laughs> and she opened the door and see me on the ground and seen the television and said in her loving words, You fucking idiot! <laughs> It's a new television, you fucking gobshite! That better still fucking work! All I could see in blurred vision was my wife trying to switch the television on and off. And she switched it on and came over to me and went, You're fucking lucky! And she left me there! I, I travel a lot, you know, and stay in hotels, even in England. <laughs> I, did, I travel around so much, you know, and stay in hotels all the time, you know. And then, because of my man's head, when I check into a hotel, I always check to see if there's porn on the television. You'll do that if you're on your own, and you know, you'll just check it up, and you just go, and you just look, you know, and you just click it in and go, oh, yeah, mm, it's a party for me, right? <laughs> You will always do that, right? And if there's anybody that owns a hotel, right, that owns a... Stop putting on two-minute previews, because that's enough for blokes, all right? Two minutes of free porn. Oh, yeah. Whack, whack. Down for a pint, and it's free, right? <laughs> there is no way my wife or any woman I know would take two minutes to do fucking anything, right? The hoops and the hurdles I have to jump through to get to the fucking main event are unbelievable, right? And I have to pretend to enjoy every step of the way or I won't get the main event, right? My wife's standing off the bed naked, right? When I'm on the ground and she's going, blowing my calf for half an hour. <laughs> Half an hour of blowing on my calf, please. Right? I'm down there for half an hour going... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and she's going, are you enjoying yourself? And you have to go, yeah, 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 oh yeah, fuck it. Oh, this is electric, this shit is, yeah. <laughs> horny, horny, horny. <laughs> And then she go, get the feather, blow and tickle, blow and tickle. <laughs> and I'm down there, fucking for 40 minutes, going, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm trying to start a fire in my fucking bedroom, right? <laughs> my cock is looking at me going, eh, sorry, are we going in there tonight? <laughs> Like, what are you married to? A candle? What the fuck is this shit, right? <laughs> so this is how you get to the main event real quickly. If you're blowing, if you're blowing, and you're still blowing around the bum area here, right? Make the noise as if you're blowing into an empty Coke bottle, and that frightens the fuck out of them, right? <laughs> so as you're blowing, and you just get to hear, just really quickly, just go, who? <laughs> <laughs> I just love making that noise. <laughs> and just watch them jump out of bed going, Ah! What the fuck was that? You're going, I don't know, just blowing into your arse. You alright? <laughs> oh my god, that sounded like an empty coat bottle. <laughs> Quickly, let's get to the main event. The main event, right? <laughs>
And the next thing that always follows that in bed, right, is my missus going, you got to be gentle in bed. Be gentle, right? Men try to be gentle in bed. We've got flesh on the end of our hands, not barbed wire. We try our fucking best, right? As I lie beside my wife naked in the bed, right, as she gives me instructions, that's how fucking humiliating it gets, right? <laughs> Fucking, you can't prod and flick and punch and get shit and fucking stick fingers up whatever's going on anymore and go, do you like that? Is that good? No? Do you like that? No? How about that? Like fucking flicking the nose? No? How about that there? Yeah. Pull her nipple. Will it rev them like motorbikes? Do you like that? You don't like that? No? Yeah? Will I pull out your pubes? Yeah? With a little, little stick? Yeah? When I do that, will I stab you in the knee with a fork? Is that what you like? No, that's not good. No. See, all that shit ends when you're married. It's instructions. As she lies there beside me naked going, right, off you go. And gentle, 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 no, that's too rough. Start again. All right? <laughs> Off you go again. And gentle, 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 gentle. No, that's too rough. Start again. And you have to start again. It's not like a game where you get brownie points. You're back with your numb fucking fist back. Start again. <laughs> And her going, and off you go, and gentle, gentle, gentle. Then eventually they just go, forget it, I'll do it myself, all right? <laughs> Pass me my rampant rabbit, please. <laughs> that fucking thing, gentle, holy fuck, that's like an industrial drilling bed. How the fuck is that thing gentle? Ra 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 <laughs> that is so. Oh, it's so hard to do that on the neck. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Sorry, looking right down those two ladies. Oh, thanks for looking after me. <laughs> I tell you what we'll do though, I tell you what we'll do. <laughs> look at me looking down and everybody going, tell you what we do, we don't do it fucking me. <laughs> <laughs> that man, you're all tanned there. What were you using? Did you go away? I look, oh my god, I'm so Irish. <laughs> were you away? <laughs> Great couple. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Here, will you come up here and help me with something? Will you help me with something? Come on, give the builder. Give him a round of applause. Come on. <laughs> give him a big cheer. Look at that. Oh, yeah. And he's, okay, here, come on over here. I'm not going to flow with you or anything like that, right? We'll be fine. Okay, what, what the fuck? Where the fuck's he? Are you, did he just fall out of your arse? <laughs> <laughs> that was the weirdest shit ever. You jumped up and the bloke just got up, man. <laughs> <laughs> I just sit back down there. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, he's a good looking builder as well, isn't he? Oh, look, is that your builder? You, missus? It's just like, he is, he's lovely, I love him, he's mine. Right. <laughs> Look, you can actually tan as well. Look at me, fucking <laughs> up. I cannot go into the sun. If I do, my skin and my bones have to be put into a bucket. <laughs> okay, so well done. Right, so oh, what's your name? Niall. Niall, Niall the Builder. What, do you, you specialise in any type of building? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> building. <laughs> Building. Good man. Right. This is what we're going to do, right? Okay. Can you dance? Can you dance? You must have danced. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, shit. Right. Okay. <laughs> right. This is what I'm going to teach you, right? Just put, put, your, put your legs put your legs together like that, right? Just like, kind of like that. Do you play, what, which, which ball, which ball do you kick with? What the fuck is that? <laughs> which ball do you kick with? Yes, but there's a new game called testicle football. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, yeah. Pele takes it with the testicles. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Which 48 kick was that one? <laughs> right one. <laughs> that one. <laughs> Don't worry, man. You won't. You won't lose work out of this, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, that one there. Yeah. <laughs> I'll do your conservatory, no problem, yeah? <laughs> but that one, they're angles. Right, so you're right footed, yeah? Right, so I'm gonna teach you, have you ever done Irish dancing before? No. No? <laughs> Fucking deadly, right. Now, put your hands down by, the si by your sides of that, right? Put your hands down by your sides, right? Now look out straight, right? That's how you do Irish dancing. No smiling, you gotta look fucking miserable like a cat. <laughs> <laughs> No smiling, never dance. No, no smiling. Right, no smiling. Right, look miserable. You look miserable? Look miserable. Look fucking miserable, right? Right, now put out your foot. I'm left footed, so you gotta put out your. No, not my foot. Put out the foot you fucking kick your testicle with, right? Right, now Irish, Irish dancing, right? Keep fucking looking forward, right? I mean, you might have to look a little bit down here, right? No, just a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit, right? With that eye. <laughs> His teeth are all white as well. Had you had them done? Lovely. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't get by Irish people, can you? Just saying. Didn't mean anything. Just look. That's great. Yeah. How much was it? Was it? You fucking eat. Just right. Anyway. <laughs> Right, so, so, so you're not Irish dancing, right? You just kind of, just swap feet like that first. Just get used to that, right? Just swap feet like that, right? Yeah, that's good, right? Good. Right, like that. And then, and then the one, two, three is just kind of one, two, three, like kind of just like that. Yeah, 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 that's good enough. That's good enough. Give me a round of applause, right? Keep looking out there. Keep looking out there, right? Now, now look to your right, look to your right. Yeah, now look to your left, right? That's it. Here, throw in some music and see how we do. Keep fucking going, right? Flash in a bit of music there, right? Right. Okay, flash it up, flash it up, guys. Just keep going. That's it. Oh, <laughs> 
thanks a million. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for coming to this show. It's been so special for me. Big round of applause for everybody to join in. All the last day in the front, all the way down here, the guy from Swords, the Grand Canary, the miserable woman over there, the Scots and the English. I've been Jason Byrne. Thanks a million. Good night. Cheers.